Anyone who has been a live witness to a Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares episode, what was it like? Is it all staged? A guy I used to work with knew someone that worked on the show, so I've been to a few tapings as a customer. It's not staged, but it's massaged, like I imagine most reality TV shows are. You make a reservation through the production company and show up at your allotted time, sign a release, and sit down and eat a meal like at any other restaurant. The lights are turned way up and there's no music playing so it's a bit of a surreal dining experience. I only ever ate on days after the place was renovated and Gordon changed the menu, so the food was good and I didn't see any crazy drama or yelling. Random notes. At one of them my buddy said he thought he saw a hair on his plate, and a producer and cameraman rushed over to film it. The producer said I think that's yours and my buddy agreed so they walked away. Didn't make the episode. Another time our appetizers were running a few minutes late. Not so much that we actually noticed, but enough that it ended up being a dramatic commercial break on the finished episode. Complete with shots of us looking around concerned about something. At a third taping our dinner was running very late. A producer kept asking us if we wanted to leave, saying that they would totally understand if we walked out right now, and that if we did they would comp our meal the following night if we came back. I guess they needed shots of angry customers walking out because service was slow? We stayed anyway and the owner came over and bought us shots. I never went back to any of the places after taping but I'm pretty sure they've all since closed down. I think that's your hair. Yeah looks about right. Classic. I worked in the post-production stage of some early kitchen nightmares in the UK. Off camera Gordon is a lot nicer. When he visits the kitchen he walks around and inspects it. You can see him getting more and more worked up whenever he sees something wrong. What you see on TV is a cut down version of the climax of his anger. I wouldn't say it's fake but more like a slice of a much longer engagement between Gordon and the kitchen staff and owners. I wasn't on set and have never met the man. I couldn't tell you if he is putting on a performance with a slow build or if he is genuinely angry. I have seen the unedited rushes though so I can tell you he is not reading a script. Man I miss the UK version. Not saying it wasn't edited or anything but it felt more authentic and less contrived than the US version. My wife and I were in a before dinner service for a restaurant in South Philly. I lived around the corner and someone was walking around trying to get people to come in. We signed paperwork and had our pictures taken. The place was packed with cameramen walking around and Gordon was pretty much hanging out talking with people when we were there. The food wasn't great and the wait times were long, but this place was usually empty so that probably had more to do with it. Also we did have to pay for dinner. We thought it would be covered by the show since they know it won't be great. We were sat by the bar up front and were not seen in the episode. After the show we went back a few times and really liked it. We even went there the night we got engaged. The owner and staff were always really nice and even offered us free drinks. Sad that it closed though. I was filmed in a revisit episode of Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon Ramsay didn't come for the revisit at this restaurant. I wouldn't go as far as to stay it was staged. They interviewed the chef in the middle of the restaurant with my friend and I in the background so it looked like people were there. We were the only two customers there. Funny though, even though we were the only customers there, they still managed to freak up our food. They gave our food away to the crew. It was an honest mistake and we had a laugh about it. Super nice guys, but they just couldn't make it work. The restaurant went out of business about a year later. Gordon and crew were in town to film an episode, and booked a table at my friend's restaurant. He had no idea who the booking was for until the party turned up, and front of house went into the kitchen to break the news he would be cooking for Ramsay. After the meal, Gordon himself asked to go to the kitchen to meet the chef, and told him the food was freaking amazing. Wow that's awesome. I lived less than a mile from a place he did early on. I knew the place and had seen the crew setting up at Sebations as I walked home one day. What a frick tard that owner guy was. Basically, they don't have to fake much of anything because they cast owners who are going to give you the goods on TV. They're egomaniacs who know nothing. So, they go up against Gordon, who is not just an owner, but an actual chef. And while his restaurants are not always successful in the long run, he clearly knows what he's doing and while he has a violent temper surrounding the topic of stupid people, he is charming and passionate about cooking. Yes, 
the infamous Amy's Baking Company was a block away from where I worked, so a co-worker and I cut work to go spy on filming. 1. Man. Does he unleash some awesome tirades that never make the cut? 2. He is soapy because he really is passionate about the restaurant industry, and he hates willful ignorance. Honest mistakes and inexperience are met with much more kindness. Keep in mind, this is what I interpreted from watching him. He never outwardly said anything like that. 3. He is highly protective of wait staff, especially young wait staff. That's all I really got to see. He really came across as a stand up guy, though. I love the fact that if you google Amy's baking company one of the key images is just Gordon with his face buried in his hands. Not an audience member but, I used to be a delivery driver in London. One day, about 8 years ago, I was sitting in my van next to a lovely park in a place called Battersea, eating my lunch, when I noticed a guy hiding behind a tree with a camera, about 50 feet in front of me. I sat and watched what he was up to for a while, when he suddenly lifted the camera and started taking shots, furiously of the big, Georgian houses on the other side of the road. I looked across and who was jauntily bouncing down a set of steps from his house, yep it was the Gordon. Dressed in full chef whites, it made my day. A place called Battersea, that's local, but everything sounds international on here, not knowing 99% of places mentioned. There's a restaurant at Westbridge Road Battersea Square with his name on it, too scared to see the extortionate menu. Was in an episode in the third season, the food was bad and the place was badly run and the filming exploited it. They didn't stage anything but there was definitely creative license there. Microphones everywhere and told to talk bad about the place. Both before and after shots were filmed back to back in two days. The customers were pre-selected prior to filming. Local celebrities and elected officials were the patrons during the reveal and lower level town workers and friends of crew were the before patrons. During the before they made sure to ham it up and make it look really worse than it was and vice versa on the after. For example someone tripped and make it seem like they broke an ankle. Gordon was actually a really nice guy. His temperament is for the camera and he was not nasty to anyone. Side note he ate next door at another restaurant during filming. As others have pointed out, the restaurant was out of business before the show even aired. TLDR. No setup but definitely exploited the bad things for cameras. The patrons were set up though. Restaurant closed before even aired. I got to eat at a restaurant during filming once. It was the test night before the changes are implemented. It actually wasn't that bad. We got to see Chef Ramsay, but he only stopped and talked to certain tables and ours wasn't one he picked. My friend had to hang around for hours and bother some of the people working to get reservations for us. I'm late to the party but I worked for Gordon for 5 year in the early 2000s and worked on and around a few seasons of the UK Kitchen Nightmares and a couple of his other shows during my time there. There was a ton of prep that went into the show as you can imagine. I don't think stage is the right word, but we definitely knew what the plan for the week was and what we were turning up to. One of us on the kitchen, usually my boss, would show up a month or so before Gordon to the restaurant and do a walkthrough of the space meet the team, and just basically spend a day in the restaurant checking the place out. With that info we were able to note down general things to look out for during filming, if we saw food not being stored properly, particular dishes that were disgusting, which members of staff did it get along etc, and gamma plan the week of filming. Before we would show up to film we had market research on the area what kind of restaurant the area is lacking, avg price points, foot traffic etc. We would have a restaurant concept put together, with a menu that included a recipe folder that we had already put together. We would order the food for the changeover in advance and do a big chunk of the prep to get them going the first few days. And we would train the staff in the background through the week of filming and the new menu rollout. So the week would go. Comma Gordon shows up, points out all the stuff we found on Reckon Trip. Comma restaurant is filled with guests off the street, usually friends of crew. Comma they're never full so they go down. Comma Gordon asks what the problem is, usually too expensive, or wrong concept for the area, or chef is no good. Comma Gordon has a think, magically appears with a new concept, filled out menu and the whole kitchen staff suddenly knows how to cook. Comma restaurant is filled but paced well grand finale night and everyone rides into the sunset. I honestly think. 
for the UK version at least, we did a bang up job getting them set on the right path. Ton of effort went into each restaurant, but there's just no way of fixing the root problem of why they were in the crap to begin with. Really the only ones that did well were doing good food before and just needed a hand with their branding. If they were putting out crap before we came, a recipe folder isn't magically fixing everything after we leave. I work on his crew. I can answer specific questions if you have any. Nothing is staged. It's just like Survivor in that nothing is staged but we do a lot of editing to tell the story we want to tell. As far as I'm aware we've never represented a bad or badly managed restaurant as good or well managed. And vice versa. But we can definitely exaggerate the bad and the good and do so often for dramatic effect. As someone who has worked with Gordon for several years now I can say that his profanity littered outbursts are an act. But the act is on his part. We're not exactly in on the act. It's just how he markets himself. His genuine personality is quite kind. It's all fake. Under Gordon's hair is a small rat that is calling all the shots and the true chef of the long running show. My ex was at David in Boston for the filming. I asked her this and her commentary was that it didn't feel staged except everyone the diners. Knew Ramsey was going to be there so the restaurant, which was usually mostly empty, was packed and busy. The staff probably aren't used to having such a packed restaurant and that probably creates a lot of pressure and high possibility of fuck ups which made it into the show. According to her, the food was mediocre and the service was slow, but it's hard to tell if it's always like that or it's just because a staff that usually turns 5 tables a night suddenly had to turn 30 each hour. Ramsey's cameraman actually tripped over a young lady while filming and Ramsey apologized directly to her on his behalf. Classy dude. Not kitchen nightmares, but I worked for a time at a place that was featured on Hotel Heck. It was the episode at the Hotel Chester in Starkville. Miz. I know for a fact the sad backstory of the people running the place was made up. They said Dave Mullendor, owner, was on a cane. I think he was off the crutches by then, because of a car wreck. They even showed some random footage of a van wrecked on the side of the road. His old stubborn butt actually fell off of a ladder trying to fix a light because he was too cheap to call in his maintenance guy. There were other things, and I don't think they mentioned the Legionnaires disease in the AC system. The show set up a beer garden that did okay for a bit, but the Mullendors pretty much ran it into the ground right after the cameras left. My friend manages at the Hilton that Gordon Ramsay stayed at, though. He did tell me he was one of the nicest most courteous guests he'd ever had. I'm sure this will get lost at this point, but I used to work with a guy whose family owned one of the restaurants. It's pretty funny because based on the show, you'd think they only had one son. Since it fit the storyline of the episode, my friend was in the background of a few shots as a waiter, and that was pretty much it. Said once the cameras turn off, Gordon is awesome. They spent one night at the restaurant until 4am after shooting, just drinking and shooting the crap. At least for the US version, it's edited in a way to make everything seem more dramatic and worse than it actually is. He said they purposely slammed the restaurant, past what they can handle to make them frick up during dinner service, etc. As others have mentioned, they went out of business about 6 months after. I was interviewed for an episode here in Austin about a Greek place that almost immediately went out of business. There was a casting call asking if you'd been to the restaurant before, and if you were contacted you either ate there during filming, or like me, you got interviewed at a nearby grocery store. I got to talk to Gordon for like 2 minutes. He actually seemed like he was a very nice fellow. I also knew there was zero chance I would appear on the show because in the spur of the moment I couldn't think of anything very witty or interesting to say. And also interviewed at the store was a very attractive military family with the husband wearing his nice uniform. Along WTH a different young woman who was very pretty and showing plenty of cleavage. It turns out none of us were actually on the show. During the taping they got the little old Greek aunt who was helping to cook in the back to just yell at the owner for like the entire episode. I'm late to the party so this will probably get buried but I was in an episode. I think the restaurant was called The Neighborhood. It was filmed in Denver. It's not really staged but they are very selective in the footage they try to capture. We were there after Gordon fixes it. I hated an appetizer I ordered. I never send food back but this was so bad and I was on the show so I said something. 
A producer came over and asked us about it and in his earpiece he asked if they were still filming complaints. They came over and filmed the exchange I had but it didn't make the show. Gordon Ramsay did come over to our table and said hello because my sister has some mutual friends apparently. He's a very, very nice guy. I stood and shook his hand and called him Mr. Ramsay and he about had a heart attack. Oh god please sit and please do not call me Mr. Ramsay it makes me sound so old. Said he preferred Gordon or just Chef. He probably chatted with us for about 2 minutes or so. It was a fun experience. Edit. Typos. For the Americans I strongly recommend you try and find the original British version. It's not staged and there's none of the force fake drama that US TV applies. It's genuine owners struggling and getting pissy with Gordon who is trying to change their way of doing things which have been set for 30 years. It's a lot more heartwarming. I just remember him yelling you fat French frick at someone. He came to my small town to film an episode. I didn't meet him but while filming he and his crew stayed at the hotel I used to work at. I talked to my former boss about it and he said he was super nice and that he came up to my boss and asked him for one of the recipes for food he served him and his crew. Apparently when they film these, most places don't feed them well. So he was super thankful and mentioned it his crew was raving about the food. Not sure if he says that to every place he goes, but made my boss feel cool. Ramsey plays a loud smartest jerk, but only in US shows. If you watch the UK version of Kitchen Nightmares, he's infinitely more mature and constructive. I still remember the one episode where he realized that a teenager had basically taken oven the family restaurant single-handedly, and legitimately didn't know what he was doing. Gordon stopped everything, and mentored the guy from the ground up. How to plan out the logistics of how where to buy food, how to barter in the markets to get good prices, how to price the menu items so the business could turn a profit, how to cook a handful of really quick good menu options, etc. And when he was done with all of that, the two played soccer on a nearby hill. It was amazing. I wish every episode was like that, and I wish he could play himself in the US. I dined at a kitchen nightmares restaurant during the before sequence. At the time, we lived across the street from this restaurant and we knew it was awful, overpriced, bland, just bad food. Knowing this my neighbors and I thought the filming would be a fun experience and were genuinely excited that this crappy restaurant might get improved due to being on the show, it didn't. It closed soon after. Dining there that day was even worse than usual. The restaurant was basically empty on a typical day, so during filming they were completely overwhelmed by the crowd and the food took forever. There was a mic on our table and staff from the show came around trying to get sound bites from us you still didn't get your food yet etc. The food was as bad as usual and the worst part was that we still had to pay their overinflated prices for it. We were pretty pee that we didn't get selected to eat there during the after sequence. We didn't get to choose. Gordon did stop by each table for a quick hello and came off very friendly and dedicated to his job. They recently did one near me, Vasis Tarvena. It was EHH before the show, it has been packed every night since. My friend that used to go all the time said it is a whole new experience so I think it's a good thing. At least for this place. I once walked past him shouting and berating a restaurant owner in Brighton UK when I lived there. 100% not staged. The guy was acting arrogant and Ramsey was giving him full barrels. Exciting to see live. It's not staged emo. I live a few blocks from the shanty on 19th and used to work there. The food was horrible as Chef Ramsey pointed out. He just didn't mention the fact that the owner is a sea addict and verbally abuses his staff. Two months after the show aired the shanty is back to sucking and will probably be closed in less than a year. <laughs> My bestie did the mill saint. Bistro Epp and said he was lovely. He was hard on the owner, Joe, but it was needed. Chef offered my friend a job in one of his LV restaurants but she declined BC she has kids in school. She loved him, said nothing was staged, and he did a nice pick with her, her kids, and husband. A spoiler, the owner did not change and the MSB closed. It's not staged so much as it's very deliberate and planned. The dinner sessions are all slotted into each day. Maybe three sessions for four days and that's the only time the restaurant was open for the time. When we got selected for ours they told us when to show up and what to wear. No logos. Loud bright colors patterns. 
They basically seat a full restaurant during each session and then reset. The whole building is mic'd up. We had a producer come to our table after we said Olive Garden once and told us to start our conversation over, but not use the name brand. We weren't actors though, so it was super awkward to redo a conversation. It didn't make it into the episode. Along those lines we had some really bad food make it to our table. When we were talking about it, the camera crew got dispatched to our table and that was super weird. It was legit bad. And there was an argument in the kitchen over it that was on TV. My meal was great but others at my table didn't have the same experience. It didn't feel staged, like they fricked up the food on purpose. It was by no means let's go to this place for dinner and when you show up there is a film crew there. The place was closed by invite only. Side note there were two things I learned. 1. Gordon Ramsay is a big guy. 2. He speaks very softly when he is not his TV persona. He was talking to somebody on his cell phone right next to my table and I couldn't believe what I was hearing. My lecturer at college used to work for Gordon after he left culinary college way back in the day. He told me he was one of the nicest blokes he's ever met. TBH. As a Brit. I don't like America's version of Kitchen Nightmares as much as the old British series. While I can still watch and enjoy the American version, it just seems a bit too staged for me. Every now and then, you see Gordon being genuinely nice to people, and from what I've heard of him, that's the real Gordon Ramsay. So my dad works as a news anchor in Atlanta. There was an episode that happened at a burger restaurant and they invited my dad and I to be people eating in the background. For free. So basically, nothing is staged. It's all real, and Jay got to shake Chef Ramsay's hand. Pretty cool experience. My husband and I went to a taping of one. They sent out a message and it hit local blogs calling for people who would like to be on the show as customers. This was at a midtown Manhattan seafood joint that closed down shortly after. We were all given $40 towards the meal and the rest we were responsible. They told us to not be shy with our reactions to the food and if the camera people noticed us they would film. There was a table next to us that was dead set on getting on. They were exaggerated about everything. Wait time. It was normal. Temperature of food. They got the same appetizers as us at the same time. Ours was fine. Food was making the woman gag. Overall, we didn't see Gordon much at all. He spent the entirety of the time in the kitchen. The place was subpar at best but watching the reactions around the restaurant by the patrons was hilarious. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.